Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. Jules Abels, in his book, The Rockefeller Billion, says, John D. Rockefeller had an income at approximately a million dollars a week toward the end of his life. Yet his doctors allowed him to eat only a bare minimum. Quote, now less than 100 pounds in weight, he sampled everything. At breakfast, a drop of coffee, a spoonful of cereal, a forkful of eggs, and a bit of chop the size of a pea. He was the richest man in the world, but he didn't have the ability even to enjoy his food. This book speaks the truth. Look at your own parent at the time of death. Good as they may have been, the same was probably true of them. It was true of my father, and I will never forget that. There's nothing in him that allowed him to draw good from his labor. Well, how can I ever enjoy life? What will it take for me to give purpose and meaning back to life? I remember as our family was growing up, we had a little family that lived next door in the city of Houston. And they had many of the world's goods that our family didn't have, but they didn't have Christ, which we had in abundance. I remember one Christmas time we were singing together as a family. My dad was playing a harmonica and my brother was playing the piano and my sister and mother and a brother and I were singing in harmony some of the some of the old carols and some of the songs, some of the, you know, folk songs of the, of the season. And uh, my mom said, we're making so much noise, we better pull the windows down or we'll disturb the, the folks who live next door. And we pulled the windows down. A little later, the phone rang. And uh, it was the family next door. And they said, why'd you put the windows down? And my mom said, well, we didn't want to disturb. She said, disturb you? That's the most laughter we've heard in the entire Christmas season. Please open your windows. That's beautiful music. We take it for granted, Christians. We have the idea that, uh, that the world is the one that gives enjoyment and God's the one that clubs us when we have fun. It's quite the other way around. The caricature of the world is, if you want to really have fun, stay away from God. If you want to really have fun, get with us. But the fact is, if you really want to have fun, since it's an enjoyment from Him, and only through Him can you eat, and can we ever eat, and have fun, then you don't need the world to give you fun. You need God. Long enough have we lived under the false delusion that God is sort of a peeved deity roaming heaven with a big club and a nail in it. Grum, grum, tromping on people that are, stop smiling, you're in church. <laughs> Quit having fun, you're a Christian. I think that's a lot of hogwash. We're the ones that ought to be having the time of our lives and many of us look like we're baptized in lemon juice. Incredible. Enjoyment is God's personal gift. Unless God gives us contentment and peace as a gift, all our pursuits will be empty. Any joy we experience in this life is by God's grace. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, More Miles of Bad Road, 
was copyrighted in 1983, and this live track sound recording was copyrighted in 2014 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide. <laughs>